I have a workout buddy that loves the treadmill. I believe Satan invented treadmills to bring me undue and unnecessary pain. I don't feel like I get much reward out of them. Anyway, my workout buddy's like, Jamie, we really need to hit the treadmill. Uh, Jamie, you really need to hit the treadmill. Uh, thanks. I love you too. And it had us walking for the first five minutes, and I was going nuts. I'm like, look, we're on the treadmill. If we're going to be on the treadmill, let's jog. Let's at least jog, or let's get, get running into Let's do a run. Let's do something. And he turned to me and he said, Jamie, you need this warm up, and you're going to appreciate this warm up. Same deal here. We're going to do some basic warm ups. If you've been programming for a while, this is going to look very rudimentary. Do this anyway. Don't be cocky and be like, oh, Jamie's such a lame exercise. No. Do the warm up. I want you to write code that takes an integer array and will give you back the index of an element in that array. Let me stub that out. I'm going to say static int, meaning the integer index into the array of the item that I'm looking for. I'll call it index of. It takes an uh, array of integers. I'll call it the array. And int target value that's the value we're looking for inside of this array so what index of needs to do is search through this array see if it can find target value inside of the array and then return the index of target value if you can't find target value return negative one and negative one uh, obviously we can't have a negative index anywhere in an array so a negative one will be a sentinel value saying i didn't find it too bad also create an array of about eight ish here, eight-ish integers in main. Pass that array to your index of function and look for some values. Make sure that your function's working properly. I also put a link to a stopwatch in the description of the video. Time yourself and tell me in the comments how long did it take you to write this function. By the way, it's not a race. It's not a race. If it takes you one minute, great. It takes you 15, I don't care. But I want to know roughly how long this exercise is taking you to complete. It's feedback for me. Be honest. Tell me the time. Throw it in the comments. Pause the video. Do the exercise. Go. I said pause the video. If you're not going to pause the video and do the exercises, why are you watching the playlist? All right? Again, this stuff needs to go in your eyes, through your brain, and out your fingertips. It's great that I can code this up, but if you did not pause this video, you need to repent and pause the video right now and write the algorithm. Sorry, I rant. But do it. I don't care how long you've been programming. You need to put your hands on the keyboard and make this happen, all right? I can't make you awesome if you're not going to apply. This needs to come more from you than it comes from me. All right, I'm just getting passionate here. Look. Here's my index of simple loop. I'm going to go through. I'm going to say, hey, I'll start at zero. I, which is my index into the array, will go up to the length of the array. This is nice because we're zero based. So arrays are zero based. I have a video here. You can click here. Look, here's a video on why arrays are zero based if you're interested. Uh, I starts at zero, goes up to the array length, I plus plus. If this value inside of the array at the ith index is equal to target value, Hey, we found it. Cha-ching. All right, return that index. All right, keep going round and round and round. Um, if we get through the entire loop or the entire array and we don't find the element we're looking for, return a negative one. You guys hear my cat? You know what I want to name my cat? I want to name my cat, chuck him out the window. But my kids won't let me name him that. Hello. Hi, I'm your new instructor. My name is Jamie's cat. I need some food. Please give me food. All right, so this is pretty straightforward. Algorithm notice it took me a minute and 31 seconds to complete this. If it took you 10 minutes or a half hour or longer, I don't care. Uh, but for those of you who are new to programming and want me to explain everything that's going on here in excruciating detail, including the variables and the memory, guess what? I have a video for you right here. Just click right here. And you'll see a video where I go through this in excruciating detail. And, and that, again, goes back to you people who are brand new, underprivileged. Click it. All right, that was a good warm-up exercise. I'm going to use this linear search algorithm. That's what this is called, the linear search, just in case you didn't know. Uh, it's linear because we're looking for things one by one by one by one. And also has to do with the complexity of it, which we'll talk about. Next videos, invariance, correctness, complexity. I can cover all that in basic form set our foundation for the rest of this playlist using a simple linear search, and then we'll move on to other rockin' cool algorithms. Stay awesome. 
Tell me in the comments, did you really do the exercise or did I have to chew you out there? I'm getting up early in the morning to make this awesome for you guys. And for those of you who willingly participate and make it awesome, great. We're going to get you there. I'm excited. For those of you who need a little push push, that's okay. But I want to know, did I have to push you or did you actually do the exercise before I chewed you out? Don't forget to like and share and you can see how you can get updates there at the bottom of the screen with Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter.